There is a tunnel and machinery inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. Particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore destroyed our ears, shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it, and therefore things are different in this universe. Could the latest revelations from CERN alter the very fabric of our understanding of the cosmos? Scientists at CERN just announced a terrifying new discovery building on Legacy Rich and revolutionary insights into particle physics from the unveiling of the Higgs boson to other monumental findings. CERN's recent declaration has sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community. Let's explore high-speed particle collisions, state-of-the-art detectors, and the awe-inspiring science that underpins CERN's consistently groundbreaking and somewhat terrifying discoveries. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, more commonly known by its French acronym CERN, is the world's largest particle physics laboratory. Located on the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, CERN has garnered worldwide attention for its cutting-edge experiments and discoveries in the realm of particle physics, most notably with its Large Hadron Collider, LHC. Founded in 1954, CERN was established to foster scientific research collaboration in Europe post-World War II. The organization began with 12 founding member states and has since grown to include 23 member states. Several other nations also participate in specific projects as observers or associate members. Sirin's data center is crucial for storing, analyzing, and disseminating the vast amounts of data generated by the experiments. CERN produces antimatter to study its properties and the imbalances between matter and antimatter in the universe. In 2012, CERN announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, a particle essential to the standard model of particle physics. This discovery garnered the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics for theorists Peter Higgs and Francois Engler, Bern is also the birthplace of the World Wide Web. In 1989, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist at CERN, invented the web to meet the rising demand for information sharing among physicists worldwide. While CERN's contributions to science are undeniable, they've not been without controversy. There have been concerns raised about the potential creation of black holes or unforeseen consequences of high-energy particle collisions. However, extensive research and studies have dispelled most of these concerns, and the consensus is that the experiments at CERN are safe. CERN remains at the forefront of research in particle physics with its ever-evolving suite of tools and experiments and a collaborative spirit that spans the globe. CERN has and will continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge, reshaping our understanding of the universe's most fundamental aspects. As research at the LHC and other facilities at CERN continues, the world waits eagerly for the next big discovery that will further illuminate the mysteries of the cosmos. So what exactly is the LHC, and how important is it for us? The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, situated approximately 100 meters underground at CERN. The LHC stands as a monumental achievement in the field of particle physics, both for its sheer scale and its scientific accomplishments. The LHC occupies a circular tunnel with a circumference of about 27 kilometers, 17 miles. The tunnel houses a series of superconducting magnets and accelerating structures. These magnets are used to steer and focus beams of particles, ensuring they travel at close to the speed of light. The LHC operates at temperatures colder than outer space, around minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest places on Earth. This is essential for the functioning of its superconducting magnets, which lose their superconductivity at higher temperatures. Particles, particularly protons, 
are accelerated in two high energy beams traveling in opposite directions. These beams are made to collide at four locations around the LHC ring, corresponding to the positions of four major experiments, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. These general purpose detectors were essential in the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. They continue to explore the frontier of high energy physics, searching for new phenomena and particles. This detector studies quark gluon plasma, a state of matter believed to have existed just microseconds after the Big Bang. This experiment investigates the slight differences between matter and antimatter by studying a type of particle called the beauty quark, or bottom quark. ATLAS, a toroidal LHC apparatus, is one of the seven particle detector experiments constructed at the LHC at CERN. ATLAS is designed to explore a wide range of physics, including the search for the Higgs boson, extra dimensions, and particles that could make up dark matter. It's intended to answer fundamental questions about the universe's origins and the fundamental forces that have shaped it. The ATLAS detector is enormous, standing about 25 meters high and 44 meters long, weighing approximately 7,000 tons. It consists of several components, tracks the path of charged particles. It includes the pixel detector, the semiconductor tracker, and the transition radiation tracker. It measures the energies of particles. The electromagnetic calorimeter is designed for electrons and photons, while the hadronic calorimeter measures the energy of hadrons. It detects muons, which are particles similar to electrons but more massive. It surrounds the entire apparatus. Amazing, right? Let's dive deeper into the other experiments conducted through LHC and explore the power of this tool. CMS, the Compact Muon Solenoid, is a general purpose experiment at the LHC. Its primary mission is to investigate a wide range of physics, including the search for the Higgs boson, extra dimensions, and particles that could make up dark matter. CMS has a large solenoid magnet, which gives it its name. Within the magnet are layers of different detectors that can measure the energy and momentum of particles and identify them. One of the most significant findings from Matt was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, alongside the ATLAS experiment. This discovery confirmed the existence of the Higgs field, a fundamental field of the universe through which other particles acquire mass. This not only validated the last missing piece of the standard model of particle physics, but also has profound implications for understanding why some particles have mass and others don't. CMS is also looking for evidence of physics beyond the standard model. This includes the search for dark matter candidates, supersymmetric particles, and evidence of extra spatial dimensions. The discovery of any of these would drastically alter our understanding of the universe and provide answers to unsolved mysteries in physics. So let's explore more about Alice, not in Wonderland, but in CERN. Unlike CMS and ATLAS, which are general purpose detectors, Alice is specialized in studying the quark gluon plasma, a state of matter believed to have existed shortly after the Big Bang. This state is produced at the LHC by colliding lead nuclei at high energies. ALICE is equipped with detectors that can handle the thousands of particles produced in lead-lead collisions. This includes a time projection chamber for tracking charged particles, as well as various calorimeters and other specialized detectors. By studying the quark-gluon plasma, ALIS gives us insights into conditions just microseconds after the Big Bang. Understanding this state of matter provides a clearer picture of the early universe's evolution and the formation of protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atoms.
The quark gluon plasma also helps us better understand the strong force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature that binds quarks together inside protons and neutrons. The behavior of quarks and gluons in this plasma-like state can give insights into the fundamental properties of this force. Moving on to the next one, LHCb, what could it be? The primary goal of LHCb is to study the differences between matter and antimatter using particles that contain a beauty or bottom quark. It investigates the slight asymmetries in the behavior of matter and antimatter particles containing bottom quarks to better understand why our universe is made up predominantly of matter and not antimatter. Unlike CMS and ATLAS, which are cylindrical in shape to capture particles from head-on collisions, LHCb is a forward spectrometer capturing particles that move along the direction of the beam. The universe is predominantly made of matter with very little antimatter. This is one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. LHCb studies into the differences between matter and antimatter, particularly using particles with beauty or bottom quarks, aim to uncover the reasons behind this asymmetry. Understanding why there's more matter than antimatter could provide insights into the very early processes following the Big Bang that led to the current state of the universe. By examining rare decays of particles with beauty quarks, LHCb is also looking for potential signs of new physics beyond the standard model. Any deviations from expected decay rates or patterns could be an indication of previously unknown particles or forces. So what do these experiments mean for us? These experiments refine and challenge the standard model, which is the current best description of the subatomic world. Validating or disproving its components has vast implications for the very foundation of physics. Understanding the conditions shortly after the Big Bang, as well as matter-antimatter asymmetry, helps scientists piece together the history and evolution of the universe. The LHC is not static. It's continually being upgraded to enhance its collision energies and data acquisition capacities. The High Luminosity LHC, HLLHC, is a significant future upgrade aimed at increasing the number of particle collisions, allowing physicists to investigate rare phenomena and gather more data on the Higgs boson and other particles. The LHC is an awe-inspiring testament to human ingenuity and the insatiable quest for knowledge. By recreating conditions not seen since the dawn of the universe, the LHC has and will continue to deepen our understanding of the cosmos's fundamental nature. As technologies evolve and our knowledge expands, the LHC stands as a beacon pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe. Let's learn more about a concerning incident that occurred at CERN. What could it be? During the third run of the LHC in 2022, an unexpected event took place. A significant and prolonged disturbance appeared in the Earth's magnetic field. Unlike typical disruptions that are often short-lived and can be attributed to solar activity, this anomaly persisted for an astonishing 14 hours. The Earth's magnetic field, often visualized as invisible lines looping from the north to the south pole, acts as a protective shield against the continuous bombardment of solar wind, streams of charged particles released from the sun. Occasionally, this magnetic field can be disturbed, leading to geomagnetic storms. These disturbances are often associated with the breathtaking auroras, northern and southern lights. The crack in the magnetic field allowed for a direct influx of intense solar winds, which resulted in substantial geomagnetic storms. These storms can have several consequences on our satellite communications, GPS systems, and power grids. While the risks are still under debate, there's potential concern about the effects of such storms on human health, especially for astronauts in space, 
or passengers in high-altitude polar route flights. On the brighter side, the storms led to the creation of breathtaking auroras, visible further from the poles than they usually would be. Given its timing, there were initial speculations that operations at the LHC might have been linked to this magnetic disturbance. This sparked a thorough investigation to determine any correlation. It's worth noting that the LHC, despite its immense power, has always been deemed safe by the scientific community, and its operations are continuously monitored for any potential hazards. The scientific community mobilized swiftly to understand the anomaly. Several lines of investigation were pursued. Scientists meticulously reviewed the activities at the LHC during the period. They analyzed the data, cross-referenced with previous runs, and looked for any unusual patterns or unprecedented experiments that might hint at a connection. Space agencies and solar observatories studied solar activities around the time. They aimed to rule out any unusually high solar emissions or other cosmic events that could be responsible. By delving into historical data, scientists aim to uncover any similar past incidents. This would help determine whether such disturbances are entirely unprecedented or if there were overlooked patterns. Some researchers turned their focus to the Earth itself, considering geological or other internal factors that might cause such a disturbance. While the incident was alarming, it served as a reminder of the interconnectedness of various scientific fields and the importance of rigorous investigation. Whether the LHC had a role or if the cause lay somewhere else entirely, understanding such anomalies is crucial. It helps to prepare for future events, ensures the safety of our technological infrastructure, and deepens our knowledge of the Earth and its relationship with the cosmos. Amidst the profound advancements and elucidations of the universe's intricate details, the LHC stands as a pinnacle of human curiosity and engineering. Its runs, each characterized by unique objectives and discoveries, have reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. Hold on, that is not the only incident that took place. Let's look at another interesting case that happened last year. The year 2022 witnessed the unveiling of a new type of pentaquark during the analysis of charged B mesons decays. This novel particle was composed of an exotic mix, a charm quark, its corresponding antiquark, and three other quarks, up, down, and strange. While groundbreaking discoveries such as these are the cornerstone of such experiments, the nature of these findings tends to taper over the device's life cycle. As cutting-edge results are achieved, the subsequent runs yield proportionally lesser revelations, pushing the scientific community to innovate further. This innovation, the quest for the unknown, led to the conceptualization of the HL-LHC. This ambitious upgrade, initiated in June 2018, aims to amplify the LHC's luminosity, thereby elevating the odds of observing rare cosmic processes and refining statistically marginal measurements. However, between this ambitious leap and the grandeur of the HLLHC, the third run is viewed as an intermediate stage, a bridge that paves the way for the future while rooted in the legacy of the past. So what are quarks? Let's jump into a quick review. Quarks, the building blocks of protons and neutrons, are held together by the strong nuclear force. The study of pentaquarks, composed of five quarks, offers a chance to delve deeper into the properties and behaviors of the strong force. This new kind of pentaquark, with its unusual combination of charm quark, charm antiquark, and three other quarks, provides valuable data for examining how the strong force operates in more complex quark combinations. Traditionally, quarks were thought to form combinations in either pairs, mesons, or trios, baryons like protons and neutrons. 
This discovery showcases that more complex combinations like pentaquarks are not just theoretical, but can exist in nature. This suggests a more intricate tapestry of matter than previously believed. QCD, quantum chromodynamics, is the theory of the strong interaction between quarks and gluons, the particles responsible for binding quarks together. Observing and studying novel particles like this new pentaquark can provide crucial tests for QCD, helping refine the theory or point out where it might need adjustments. The declining rate of groundbreaking discoveries in the life cycle of a device, as mentioned, is an impetus for technological advancement. Discovering new particles and phenomena may require new or refined experimental setups. The search for the Higgs boson, for instance, drove the development of the LHC. Similarly, this new pentaquark might nudge scientists towards the design of even more advanced particle accelerators or detection equipment. Now, what is this discovery? A major breakthrough or just another usual piece of research? Understanding the properties and behaviors of exotic particles can provide insights into the conditions of the early universe just after the Big Bang. If these pentaquark states were prevalent in the high-energy conditions of the early universe, they might play a role in our understanding of cosmological evolution. Each groundbreaking discovery serves as a teaching moment for students and the public, reinforcing the importance of scientific inquiry, persistence, and the continual expansion of human knowledge. It brings abstract theoretical predictions into tangible existence, offering learning opportunities for generations of physicists and enthusiasts. This discovery serves as a humbling reminder that despite our vast strides in understanding the universe, there remain many mysteries yet to be uncovered. Every discovery is both an answer and an invitation to ask more questions propelling the cycle of scientific inquiry forward. The discovery of a new type of pentaquark doesn't just reshape our understanding of particle physics. It has ripple effects across various scientific disciplines, inspiring further research, technological innovations, and a deeper curiosity about the universe's intricacies. What do you think is the future of CERN? Let's study more about it. CERN's legacy is indeed profound. The first run unveiled the long-anticipated Higgs boson, revolutionizing particle physics. The subsequent run further solidified its importance, revealing the major decay modes of this enigmatic particle. This bolstered the belief that the Higgs boson is the origin of mass for the heavier-known elementary particles. While the LHC operates with meticulous precision, Deciphering the myriad data it generates is a Herculean task. Envision the LHC as a hyperactive camera, capturing approximately 40 million proton collisions every second. Storing every second of this data would generate a million gigabyte database. To optimize this, LHC employs triggers, a sophisticated computer bank to handpick a few hundred of these collisions per second ensuring the most valuable data is retained for analysis. The philosophy of such endeavors revolves around pushing the boundaries of known science to unveil newer layers of understanding. In essence, this is the trajectory the LHC and similar accelerators have followed. With every particle accelerator's run, the challenge increases to find groundbreaking results that can rival previous discoveries. The discovery of the Higgs boson in the first run of the LHC, for instance, was a monumental breakthrough. Yet, as monumental as these discoveries are, their diminishing frequency in subsequent runs raises important questions about the sustainability and feasibility of such projects in the long run. Running, maintaining, and upgrading these massive machines is an expensive endeavor for instance, the proposed Future Circular Collider, touted as the successor to the LHC, is projected to cost between 9 and 21 billion euros. 
with the prospects of diminishing groundbreaking results, can these costs be justified, especially when the funds could be allocated to other scientific projects that could yield more novel findings? Large particle accelerators require significant human resources, from physicists to engineers and technicians. As results diminish, is it prudent to allocate such vast human capital to these endeavors when their expertise could be deployed elsewhere to solve other pressing scientific questions? The construction, maintenance, and operation of these accelerators have an environmental footprint. The carbon emissions, energy consumption, and potential impact on local ecosystems cannot be overlooked especially in an age where global sustainability is a priority. A consistent focus on particle accelerators could result in a narrow scientific viewpoint, wherein the majority of the community is fixated on incremental progress within a known paradigm. Such an approach could potentially sideline or underfund alternative and perhaps more revolutionary scientific endeavors. If large scientific projects continually consume vast resources but yield diminishing returns, public trust in science could wane. A perception could arise that these are mere expensive toys for the scientific elite, especially when immediate benefits to humanity aren't evident. The underlying objective of the LHC resonates with every particle physicist's aspiration. The discovery of new elementary particles. Such discoveries could potentially unveil new fundamental interactions that have remained elusive. Dark matter, an entity that forms the cosmic scaffolding, is a prime candidate. Although its hypothesized particles might interact too weakly to leave discernible traces in the LHC detectors, the third run with its upgraded triggers is poised to detect subtle signals, elevating the chances of a groundbreaking revelation. One potential avenue CERN could explore is the elusive world of neutrinos. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that are so minuscule and elusive that they're often dubbed ghost particles. They rarely interact with matter, passing undisturbed through Earth, its inhabitants, and even dense stars. This makes them incredibly challenging to detect and study. At CERN, researchers utilize massive underground detectors filled with specialized fluids to observe the rare occasions when neutrinos do interact. When such an interaction occurs, a tiny flash of light is produced which the detectors can pick up. These interactions can offer valuable insights into neutrino properties, such as their mass and how they morph between different flavors or types. Recent findings suggest that neutrinos might play a significant role in understanding why the universe contains more matter than antimatter. Such an imbalance is perplexing because, in theory, the Big Bang should have produced equal amounts of both. But neutrinos, with their mysterious properties, might hold clues to this cosmic mystery. Neutrinos can also be used as cosmic messengers. Due to their weak interaction with matter, they can travel vast cosmic distances unimpeded. This makes them invaluable for studying high-energy astrophysical events, like supernovae or distant active galactic nuclei. By analyzing neutrinos from such sources, scientists at CERN can gain insights into the processes powering the most energetic events in the universe. Thanks for joining us. Don't miss the video on your screen. It's a must watch.